I've had a lot of people ask me why they don't see certain labels in their Gmail. Maybe something disappeared, they think they accidentally clicked on something, so they have labels that are missing and they can't find them. I'll show you what to do when your Gmail labels aren't showing today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech productivity trainer. Today I'll show you what to do if some of your Gmail labels are missing. And as a quick reminder, Gmail labels are kind of like folders, but they're also like tags. So for tags, you can have multiples on an email. You can have multiple of these labels on your email, and then they show up in multiple folders on the left hand side. So that's kind of how you can think of it. And that's great for being able to label in multiple different ways and be able to find things quickly. The problem we're talking about is when some of those labels disappear, either you can't see them on the left, or maybe they're not showing up in your inbox, maybe they're not showing up on your phone. We'll talk about all those different scenarios. Here we are in our inbox, and you can see I have some labels going on in here. I have labels on the left hand side. So I'll show you the different things you can check if for some reason you know that you created one, but it seems to be missing from one of these places, or if it's missing from your phone. Let's first tackle if it's missing from your phone, because that's a little bit different from the rest of them. For most of these situations, I find it easiest to go to your settings in Gmail. So even if it's something that's missing from your phone, I recommend coming here to gmail.com, logging in and making your changes here instead of on the phone. A lot of these changes can't be made on the phone. So we'll go to our setting gear here, and then we'll go to see all settings. And then we're going to go to this second option here, which is labels, and this is your entire list of labels. These first ones up to the line are system generated and typically you can't remove them. You can hide any of them, but you can't remove them. And then when we go a little lower, here's your categories if you're using that in your Gmail account. And then at the bottom are the ones that you would have created. So these are your labels. So what I want to talk about is let's say some of these under the English department are missing from my phone. That is probably because either I've chosen to hide them or I don't have this box checked. That's actually probably the most likely option here is that these boxes need to be checked in order for it to show on your phone. So be sure to go through there and look at that. You can see most of mine I keep checked and that way I can always check any of my folders from my phone um, or my labels, my label folders. I use that interchangeably. Uh, you can see the chats I don't use. So I have that one turned off and you can see the inbox. You don't have the choice here. Uh, that's just automatically if you're going to have it on your phone, it's automatically going to show up. But you can see you have a lot of power with the rest of this. You can choose all kinds of things to show or not show. So that's probably what's happening if you're missing something on your phone is these check boxes right here. Now we'll talk about what's happening if your labels are missing from this left hand side or maybe they're missing from the emails themselves in the inbox like you can't see the different labels. Let me show you that again. So let's say you created a label and you know that these emails are labeled in that way because when you go into it, you can see the labels and let me move my picture here. Here we go. So you can see the labels here, but when you go out here, maybe you're missing a label. I'll show you what that is and what's happening there. So we'll go back into our settings first and we'll do our see all settings. And again, we're going to go to our labels. This is where these show and hide options come into play. Now, as I said before, these system generated ones, you don't have as much control over, but you can see here, show and label list. Let's talk about the differences here. Show in label list is the left hand side. That's your label list. When we go a little further down, you can see some of these other ones, you have a choice whether or not you show them in the message list that is in your inbox or any folder that you're in. So when I'm in the inbox, this is my message list, 
all of my list of emails. That's what they're talking about with message list. And so you can actually choose to hide labels on the left hand side. You can choose to hide labels in this main message area because maybe it's feeling a little bit cluttered, but you, you still want to have these labeled. Like you can see, I've got a bunch of these gateway productivity ones. I'll show you how we can hide that here in a minute so that we don't have so many labels because especially if you're using this for multiple labels on each email, it can get a little overwhelming. And so you can turn some of them off that maybe aren't as important. You want to have it labeled that way so you can find it later on the left hand side, but you don't necessarily need to see it in the message list. So let's look at that and let's try this with some of these down here. Um, you can see some of them that I have turned off. So whatever is in the bold is what's currently happening. That can be really confusing. Let me say that again. Whatever is in bold is what's happening right now. And the way you can check this is you see my starred is right here. So I'm showing that currently. My snoozed is here. So I'm showing that. But you don't see important or chats over here because I'm hiding both of those. So let's look at this down below in our own labels. So let's say I want to hide this building info one. I can choose to hide or I can even show if unread. So if something new comes in and it hits that folder, maybe you have a filter, which is a whole other video. Maybe you have a filter built, um, then maybe there's stuff going straight into the label folder. So you could choose to show if unread. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and hide. And you can see it immediately disappears and you get a little message that says that it is being hidden from the label list. And you can always undo it if you didn't mean to do that. And what we mean by hidden is if I scroll down here and I'm at the very bottom of my list, I'm looking for more. When I click more, I need to scroll a little bit further. Here is where my hidden items show up. And so you can see there's my important, there's the chats. And then we just did this building info label. So that's where those show up is under the fold or the scroll or whatever you wanna call it. You have to hit the little more and then scroll down to see things that are hidden. And again, this is hidden in the label list. So now let's try hiding something from the message list. And we're gonna do this a different way. Rather than doing it from the settings, we'll go somewhere else. Let's go back to our inbox. And we're gonna do this more of a shortcut way. So let's say I don't need this IEPs uh, showing up anymore. I can click on the three dots and those three dots don't show up right away. You have to hover over it then hover over the three dots and click on it. And then here you can see, this is where you can hide it from the label list like we just did with the building info label. You can do the show if unread. And then you can also hide things in the message list. And for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and hide it from the label list so that we can do that again. So you can see it, we'll hide and you can see it disappears. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and close that little message, click more. And you can see here it is. Now let's try doing one <clears throat> that is in the message list. So as I said before, I've got a bunch of these that are labeled gateway productivity and they actually come from gateway productivity. It comes from that company. I don't necessarily need to see the label in here, but I do have, I want to keep the label. So to hide it from this list again, remember this is called your message list. We can click the three dots we're going to this section that says in the message list, I want to hide it. Now you see that it still shows up on the left because we left it in the label list, but it's missing. Those are missing from the message list. But if I go into one of them and I'll move my picture, then you can see the label here. So it just doesn't show up in the message list. It's just to keep things a little bit cleaner and tidier and make it easier for you to see what's going on. So now you know the different places to check in case something's missing as far as your labels are concerned. You can go here to more and scroll down and see if they're down here. And if you'd rather have them up top, you can click your three dots and move them very quickly by showing in the label list. 
If you feel like there's labels missing, missing from here, you can check the settings on whatever you feel like is missing. Sometimes it's quicker in that case to go to your settings and see all settings and labels, because then you can just scroll down and see at a glance, okay, this one's shown, this is shown, oh, this one's hidden. And you can also see in this list here, this is our show in message list. You can also look here to see, most of the time I keep most of mine shown, but here's one of them that we were hiding in the message list and you could do multiples. So depending on how you choose to use Gmail, you wanna really think this through. You can hide a lot of things to get it out of your sight line so it's not distracting. And then you can, you might create a whole structure built around this idea of having things hidden or shown. Real quickly, I'll go through some of the benefits again of doing these different showing and hiding options. So hiding things on the left-hand side, again, that's your label list is going to be to keep that list much shorter and easier to scroll through so that you're not constantly having to find things. By putting things down in that section where you have to click more to get to it, that kind of becomes your storage cabinet of things that you don't need to access hardly ever, but you want to keep them. So think of it that way. If you're going to hide something on the label list, it's kind of like putting it in a cabinet that's maybe in the attic or in the basement or something like that. And then if you're going to hide your labels that are in the message list, again, that, that's your email inbox or really any folder that you're in, it's the message list, the email list that you're looking at. If you're going to hide a label from there, that's really more for aesthetic value and making sure there's not too much going on that's going to overwhelm you. So that's the benefit of doing that. And then going back to what we started with at the very beginning, your IMAP, labels, that's the things that are syncing to your phone or to your iPad or whatever it is that you're using. The reason that you might not have some of those syncing is if there's things that you're never going to need to access from your phone. A good example might be those filing cabinet types of things that are in the attic or the basement. You might not need to have those showing up in your phone at all so that you can uncheck that IMAP box that's on the settings page and then they wouldn't even come through to your phone and that saves space on your phone saves um, all the back and forth with syncing so that's something to consider there and then if you do have something missing that's the first place I would go if it's missing from your phone have you had a light bulb moment from this training if so please let me know in the comments below you can also put questions there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can you could also give the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And don't forget to click the subscribe button. It's the red button below. Once you do that, you will see the bell icon. If you'd like to receive notifications each time a new video is posted, go ahead and click the bell. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.